Asagi has been balling out now in the NEO, and some could question has Asagi been advancing way too fast in the series. He has been constantly achieving new heights and gaining abilities match after match, and it's a right to question whether he could be advancing faster than ever. We have to keep in mind Asagi is a king of adaptability, and his environment really allows him to evolve even faster. His critical thinking, abilities, and overall skill levels have all increased tremendously, and the Manshine match was his first game as a starter, giving him even more opportunities to be able to shine. His skills and weapons so far have all increased and he has even learned more and achieved greater heights from the opponents he has played and the teammates that have helped him out so far. Why is Asagi exactly advancing so far though? There could be a few reasons as to why and whether it's a good or bad thing will be explained in today's video. Asagi's growth started getting ridiculous all the way back to the second selection. He was able to learn a lot in the second selection and had a goal of defeating Rin in the process to get there. This challenge helped him a lot because he and Rin were very similar and this allowed Asagi to know what things he needed to work on. He was able to defeat a lot of opponents and rely on himself more, contrary to the first selection where he had all superstars around him. He became known as the king of adaptability and even was able to copy weapons from the opponents he was facing. His ego also dramatically increased and his motivation to win helped as he felt like he was on a battlefield fighting for war. His mindset still tends to him now as he knows what type of ego it takes to win. He was able to completely demolish his old self and be completely reborn with a striker's mentality, fit to win the second selection. Through the second selection, he worked on himself a lot to get stronger and tougher to be able to rise quick and take on Ren once again. Even through defeat, playing against the World 5 also helped him as he got to see the difference between him and the best players in the world. He also was able to defeat Ren and Shido in a move before and was technically the first player ever to enter flow and use metavision from Gulak. His skills have been advancing fast since then. Asagi also made a good choice by choosing Moon Chen instead of anywhere else. Through Moon Chen, he got to see Kunigami, who looked like a completely different player than before, and he gets to learn under Noah Noah, who is the greatest striker in the world currently. This was a match made in heaven as Asagi now has access to the best player in the world. This was a match made in heaven as Asagi now has access to the best striker in the world. He realized just how fun it would be to play under him and see how to become better through his eyes. He plans on learning football from him and knew that he would grow to a new level if he keeps winning. We have seen Asagi go to Noah and ask for help on how to increase his rankings to be able to defeat Kaiser. Noah had gained some one-line answers, but he was already telling Asagi the answers that he already knew. Noah and Noah won an ideal that can even win against him. Spending every day and every minute to becoming the best in the world, this is Noah and Noah's expectations of himself, and if Asagi wants to become the best, he also needs to think the same. This is a good coaching moment from Noah as he allows his players to come to him with questions and seek out information. Safe to say that Noah's info helped Asagi as he was able to find the answers in his play with wishful thinking and could find an ideal that can even win against Noah. He had the greatest striker in the world ally himself with him to achieve victory and this was a huge moment in Asagi's NEL career. Noah is an ideal player that Asagi wants to eventually be like but it would take time to get to his status and he's nowhere close currently so his only best way was to go for something in the middle and that was Kaiser. Asagi's rivalry with Kaiser has been his best rivalry yet in terms of skill. Asagi has taken so many skills and information just from being on the same team as Kaiser and being able to see him practice and how he moves in a game. Because of this, Asagi was able to learn metavision through Kaiser when he notices his eyes are not looking at the ball and instead scanning the entire area. Kaiser gave Asagi a challenge of dethroning him and Asagi has now dethroned Kaiser, making him Mu Chen's king. Because of this challenge, Asagi was able to enter flow and find the opportunities within himself to dethrone Kaiser. This rivalry in itself is what made Asagi advance so far. Having a new Gen 11 and especially a forward new Gen 11 be right at his side was so important. He knew a person he had to study and go after to get closer to reaching Noah and that was Kaiser. Their rivalry with each other has been throughout the entire NEO, where it feels like they are working their hardest against each other than against the other team. Asagi was able to see world class abilities on display from Kaiser and could see what he was seeing now to get even closer to reaching him. Kaiser has an almost unstoppable move in Kaiser Impact that Asagi knows he cannot imitate but he still can have his own golden method of scoring that works for him and he has shown it as well. He even was able to come up with a secondary weapon in 5 days which was his lefty direct shot that caught everyone off guard by surprise. A move like that you can't just learn in 5 days but Asagi achieved this even though it was only 40% at best he could do with it. The sky's the limit for Asagi and he gets closer and closer to that new gen 11 status. Learning metavision was arguably the biggest achievement to this day for Asagi. Because of metavision his eyesight was on par with the best of them. He could scan an entire field and he became an entirely different player from that point on. He was now a kingpin and looked a lot like a god to others and it makes sense. Asagi completely manipulated everyone in the field including his own teammates for victory in the manside match and he has an otherworldly sight that not many people can achieve. Metavision is very heavy on the body though and not many can keep up with that type of movement as we have seen from Kurna and Raichi. He did learn metavision after seeing Kaiser basically do it once but he already had metavision subconsciously during the third selection and the under 20 match. He just needed to see Kaiser to be able to use it on his own automatically. With metavision, Asagi's confidence grew even higher as he knew that he could defeat anyone with this new method of eyesight. But eventually others discovered metavision as well and he couldn't just rely on that anymore to win. 
now that it became more common for people with great eyesight. Metavision opened up the path towards the best in the world and was a crucial power-up that Sagi needed during this match. From this point on, he went to go defeat Nagi and Ryo, who looked unstoppable. He defeated Kaiser, outplayed Yukimiya, gave Shigeru the beats, and crushed Ubers. What a significant power-up this was. Asagi now is beginning a grasp of world-class games. This is also a huge part of his development because the games run way faster and your body needs to be able to keep up with the momentum of the game. Through these games, he has learned more about the world and is able to work on keeping up with world-class players. As Asagi got to the Ubers match, he was now able to keep up with everyone and was even defending a lot and taking charge of the team. He learned a lot about strategies and designs that Ubers brought out to him. He had to constantly evolve to take on Snuffy's plays and the Ubers coordinated system that Ben does not have. A big deal for Asagi was also learning the philosophies of the Masters. Avino, Chris Prince, Noel Noah, and Snuffy all had their own ideals and philosophies of how they ran their team. Avino was all about style and creativity, which helped Asagi learn to think more on the fly and go with his own instinct. Chris Prince was all about speed and rush, but Asagi knew he needed to develop a better body if he wanted to go toe to toe with the Masters and to keep up with Metavision. Noel Noah keeps a clear head and loves the rationality of his players, so Asagi focused on combining logical plays with his egotistical play from Ego. Snuffy was all about designs and tactics to win out games, so Asagi used a lot of designs he carved up to be able to counter the Uber's crazy defense. We still have not seen Loki yet, so we won't know what his philosophy is yet, but I'm sure Asagi will take that on as well. These masters all had their own way of doing things, and Asagi is incorporating all of these into his playstyle. When the NEL is over, he will have seen the best of them, and will be well prepared for the World Cup when the time is right. These masters help Asagi evolve super fast, as they are some of the best strikers in the world for their countries, and Asagi had the chance of seeing all of them. Another big advancement for Asagi was his partnerships with Kurna and Hiyori. At first when getting on to Moon Chen, Asagi had no allies and had to try to do everything himself. He wasn't able to score that way and really needed a duo to help breathe life into his plays. At first it was Kurna who was quick and could orbit around Asagi like a planet. He knew how to be in the spots that favored Asagi and covered his weaknesses. Asagi eventually was too fast with Metavision that it was harder for Kurna to keep up with and he eventually ended up being subbed out due to a sprain. With Hiyori, he was exactly who Asagi needed as he could think the same as Asagi and was basically another him to an extent. Hiyori was the key to unlocking a better side of Asagi as he is someone who could keep up with his thinking, allowing new plays on the field. This duo became unstoppable towards the end of the Ubers match and it opened new possibilities as they used a double metavision ability and were able to know where each other were at on the field without seeing each other. It was special to see that Hiyori and Kurina are major parts of Asagi's development. Also in the NEL, Asagi was chasing after Baro. After seeing Baro score a hat trick and gain a $100 million bid, he could tell he was lacking and had to do something to stop the king. As the game went on, Asagi was able to figure out how Baro could have scored so many goals, and he figures out that Baro had predator vision, which led Baro time and shot to the goalkeeper's blind spot to score goals. This mixed in with Uber's coordination and strategies were basically invincible, where Baro could score goals at a massive rate. Baro eventually foregoes an undertaking and commands the Ubers without the use of strategies. He makes everyone move according to him, and that is exactly what Asagi desires for his team. He didn't have an answer for Baro until Hiyori was able to come into the game and his rivalry with Baro and the way he worked also helped him grow as he couldn't defeat Baro alone. To grow more and become the game's hero, he needed a new weapon to use for him. Now to finally answer the question, is Asagi truly advancing too fast? I personally don't think so given the quality of the matches and the opponents he has had to face. If you look now as the game's gone, we see more and more blue light players who are getting onto the field and taking over these teams. Especially now that we see what Rin did to Manshine, Asagi needs to advance even more if he wants to take him down. This won't be easy the way he is now and we still don't know what kind of team PXG has. Asagi has gained a lot in the NEL but this might be unordinary for normal people but not for Asagi. He is someone that was always special since birth and his environment is what shapes him the most. We have seen how good he was at his high school even though his ego was sealed and his coach made him play as a team. This joining Blue Lock his ego has started to unlock more and more but he's still not there yet as his original ego that was there when he was young. We now have seen Hiyori unlock his original ego and I think what better way for Asagi to gain his original ego back than against Ren who is on the hunt for Asagi and is on his kill list. Let me know how you guys feel about Asagi in the comments and just what will happen between Moonchen and PXG. Well I thank you guys for watching the video, please like, comment, subscribe and I'll be back in the next one. Peace.